So this is a short video on key performance indicators or KPIs. They're, they're very common lately um, in industry as a way of really monitoring how things are going in a real-time basis. Now usually the key performance indicators are um, characterized by sort of three different um, possibilities. One is that it's quantitative in nature, something you can measure. This is a very common thing and, and one of the reasons that um, you need to be careful of KPIs is because they are often only measurable or quantitative. Actionable, somehow they indicate um, something that you can do or a management can do to respond to something. So they often are having to do with the things you control or that within your realm of um, influence. And then the third is um, they, they often relate to financials, whether it's sales or customers or whatever, um, or, or costs. Anything that is associated with dollar values are often indicated here. Now that's not completely true. There are some key KPIs that are safety oriented or quality oriented, but they often um, do have a connection to the financial in implications for the industry. Lots of people think about um, KPIs in sort of three ways. The input indicators, so the things that are coming into your system. The process, so something that's happening while it's within your corporation or within your sphere of influence. And then the third is output indicators. How um, are, are our products being, are they performing, how many customers do we have? So this is really does also relate to this idea of systems where we draw a boundary around our, co our company or our sphere of influence. And there's inputs into that that we can measure, processes that we do, and then outputs that we can look at. That's kind of a general overview of KPIs and when they're used. They're also quite related to um, the idea of informatics and big data. Um, so this is a more of a... Um, overview like from a large large perspective but also the idea of visualizing something say in a dashboard which is often what's used in a company and then how best to visualize it so most company dashboards are pretty simple like this but it also is moving a little bit more towards the idea of how do you represent things in a visually in a visual way represent a whole bunch of data in a visual way that it starts to make sense there's a lot of um, input into this lately, a lot of thought into how to represent data in a way that is that helps decision making. And it's related to KPIs and to um, KPIs and to um, visualization. So um, there's examples here. Um, there's a bunch of dashboards online that you can look at to see what they mean by dashboards. There's a couple examples listed here. New customers, outstanding balances, collection of debt period, cycle time, production rate. All of these things are things that can be measured that related to financials. Some of them are input, some of them are output. Like for instance, input would be new customers. Um, Output would be um, rejection rate, production rate, and process things would be like labor per month, um, inventory, things like that. And so you can classify things into those three categories, and often people think about KPIs in those three categories. This is just another example of another dashboard. It's pretty simple, but um, it does show you what's happening with the dashboard. One of the thing, a couple of things about K KPIs is, remember, I reckon I reference that they mostly were quantitative values and there could be some unintended consequences of measuring something. So if you measure anything there's a kind of an adage that what you measure is where your attention will be. So if you measure something like um, sales then your attention will be on increasing the sales number and that might have an unintended consequences of decreasing the price say we can increase sales if we only look at that then we can just cut price and we can we will sell a whole bunch of items but that not might not be related to the profitability of the firm so that's an example of emphasizing the wrong thing also if we only emphasize quantitative things some of the things that um, that are important to a corporation will be ignored like the well-being of their employees or community service things like that that are a little bit harder to quantify because we're easy to quantify some things our attention will go to that and we'll lose attention on the other things so I think there needs to be a real thinking about KPIs and putting them in the um, right context 
and that there's a lot of other things that need to be paid attention to in a corporation that cannot be quantified. Um, so one of the things that I'm, I'm going to ask you to do in class, possibly if we have time, is to look at for education, like for Cal Poly, what would be some KPIs that would be appropriate to look for? And how, when we're doing that, might we be ignoring other things that will be harder to quantify? I hope that gives you a quick overview of KPIs.